Hello and welcome once again to another lesson. Today we are going to talk about what skills do scientists use. Scientists use inquiry skills every day and so do you. When you observe, you use your five senses to get information. If you remember our past lesson, when we say observation, you use your five senses to get or gather information. Scientists may observe many things such as changes in color, temperature, and bubbling. What is an inference? An inference is a statement that explains an observation. Scientists infer how things work by thinking about their observations. Scientists also compare objects and things that happen. When you think about how things are the same and different, you compare them. Scientists also communicate or share their results and inferences with other scientists. Again, if you remember, scientists work in team as well. You can communicate by speaking, by writing, and by using pictures or models. Think like a scientist. Some science skills are part of science investigations. This includes experiments. And again, if you remember, an experiment is a fair test. Scientists use their observations and existing research to make predictions about what will happen in the future. When scientists plan experiments, they think, what is the one thing I will change? That one thing is a variable. Again, when you are doing an experiment or a test, you can only change one thing. And that one thing is what we call the variable or the factor. Scientists plan and conduct investigations that will answer science questions. Scientists hypothesize when they think of a testable statement that tries to explain an observation. Scientists draw conclusions when they use evidence to evaluate a hypothesis. Math and science skills. Every scientist uses math. Yes, math and science are interrelated. You classify things when you put them into groups. Again, when we say classify, we are putting things into groups. To put things in order, you make a list in which position matters, such as from smallest to largest. You use numbers to observe by counting or measuring to compare and order and to describe things such as speed and force. You also use time and space relationships to investigate when, when and where something happens. In science and math, you measure by using tools to find length, width, height, mass, weight, volume, and elapsed time. If you remember some of these, we already discussed this in our past lessons before. Like, for example, the mass. The mass is the amount of material present in an object. Weight is the uh, force, gravitational force, acting upon a particular object. Volume is the amount of space a matter occupies. You record and display the results of an investigation in writing and in tables, graphs, and maps. You do this in order to be able to analyze your results. And that is our lesson for today. I hope you have a great day today and see you again in the next lesson.